Hello guys, welcome back from the video. So in this video, I'll be telling you guys about the problem that I'm facing with the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3. So recently, I was using my uh, Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3 for the editing purpose. So yesterday night, I was editing a big video that was of duration 2 hours and when I was uh, rendering the video uh, at 99% or 98% it got, the Premiere Pro got crashed and then after I started facing this uh, hard disk problem so uh, I'll be telling you about the detailed uh, review about uh, how the issue was observed and uh, how it got fixed so without wasting much of time let's quickly get into the video guys so guys here we have our laptop so the laptop is Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3. So here on the screen you can see that our uh, booting logo or uh, the laptop is not getting booted quickly. So I am facing this issue from the last night. I was rendering a 2 hour video of 1080p and after that I have fa started facing this issue. So now you can see that uh, our laptop took around uh, 20 to 30 seconds to boot itself. And here on the taskbar you can see that the icons are not quickly being displayed. So somewhere uh, looks like uh, our uh, uh, laptop is not able to uh, boot up quickly and uh, not able to process its uh, applications. So here when I come to the file manager you can see that only SSD is available and hard disk is not available. So I think that uh, my laptop is not able to read the hard disk that is present on the laptop. So this laptop is of variant 256GB of SSD and 1TB of hard disk. Somewhere I feel that 1TB of hard disk which is being mounted on this laptop is not being read it because of which this issue is being observed. So as we have the SSD and our Windows and OS has been installed on the SSD because of which our laptop is working fine but not able to perform as expected so if you guys are regularly watching my videos then in the honest review of the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3 video you might have observed that I was facing an issue with the hard disk and uh, to fix that issue I had got my cable replaced which is connected between the hard disk and the motherboard so let's open the back panel and see if the same issue goes on or whether the issue is with the hard disk is here when we open the back panel uh, you can see that so here uh, you can see that we have a hard disk installed over here uh, previously I thought that in the, in my previous videos you can see that I was facing an issue with the cable and I have got the cable replaced but now I am facing an issue with the hard disk so in this last 2.5 years uh, the major issue was with the uh, this hard disk itself and one time we got an issue with the uh, coolant that is a fan uh, where uh, the laptop was in warranty so I got it replaced in the warranty itself after which I could not see any issue with the uh, fans thermal cooling fans and here you can see that I have installed two RAMs that is one 8 GB RAM and another is 8 GB RAM both running run in same frequency so this is a dual channel RAM and uh, with this I get a super awesome speed while editing videos while doing some crazy stuff uh, if i am rendering any 3d model or everything so i get a best outcome with these two rams and uh, here you can see that we have 256 gb of ssd uh, this is a m.2 ssd chip and we also get a port over here to update or install another m.2 chip of ssd so we can install 256 GB of SSD over here. We get a screw over here so that we can install it. So uh, at the same time, we can use hard disk, one 256 GB SSD and another one 256 GB SSD. So it has a good portability of upgrading. After which, I what I want to tell you guys is about the issue. This is the hard disk where I see most of the time issue so uh, all my data has been gone now and i'm not able to read this or access this ssd so i thought of uh, replacing this ssd previously as i mentioned earlier i have replaced this cable now i am replacing this ssd and uh, it has been two and a half years so this ssd is not in warranty and uh, we cannot claim the warranty for this laptop so i'm getting it replaced from the outside so let's quickly get it installed and uh, this is what I was facing an issue I thought of sharing with you guys. So I'll quickly get it installed from the local vendor because from the online I was buying it 4000 rupees of his, uh, hard disk, 1 TB of hard disk. So I thought it getting it from the local dealer uh, and I'll be installing WD hard disk. So I'll show you guys 
what I'm going to get it installed and how it will look. So guys, now we are at the local uh, repair center where uh, I'm getting my hard disk replaced. So firstly, uh, we tried uh, uh, connecting this hard disk on other uh, laptop, but it did not get recognized or uh, did not uh, the other laptop was not able to read it from the external cable. So uh, from there, we got a confirmation that hard disk has been destroyed and uh, a hard disk will not work anymore if we uh, repair and put the same hard disk. So we thought of uh, installing the new hard disk. New hard disk is of WD uh, from the online. Uh, it was costing around uh, 5,500 somewhere. And uh, from the local vendor, I got it for 3,500 rupees with the warranty of uh, three years. So basically this uh, hard disk comes with the same specifications that we currently had on our laptop that comes with the same RPM that is uh, 5400 of RPM and same uh, read and write speed so it, it should not create any issue I'll be giving the link of this hard disk in the description so you can upgrade your laptop uh, from 1TB to 2TB or whatever you want so here we are done with installing the uh, new hard disk so uh, when I go to the file explorer you can see that the new hard disk has been installed and that is completely empty as i said earlier we get a 256 gb of ssd in the future i'm planning to upgrade this 256 gb of ssd to 1 tb of ssd so uh, i'll be updating you guys through the video and when we go to the properties and check the uh, de description of this uh, hard disk you can see that this is a blue wd uh, uh, hard disk so basically we get a variety of wd uh, hard disk that is blue green and various other uh, type of ssds are available for the wd basically uh, the blue one was well suiting uh, our laptop so i installed the blue one so guys here you can see that i have connected my old hard disk with the external cable to my laptop to get all the data i was uh, trying it multiple times and somehow after few tries uh, my hard disk was readable and uh, i was getting all the data on my laptop so after seeing this you guys might say that old hard disk did not add any issue but when i tried copying the data from the old hard disk to the new hard disk whenever i'm copying more than 25 gb the old hard disk is getting crashed and i have to unplug and plug it back to the laptop so guys after updating to the new hard disk our boot speed has been increased so now our laptop is getting booted within uh, five to six seconds as you can see on the screen now so it was very quick in booting up and all the applications were loading fine so guys this is the issue that i wanted to share with you guys uh, so if you guys are facing the same issue please let me know in the comment section so that's it for this video guys i hope you have liked this video and found this video informative if you guys found this video informative do it like button and subscribe to the channel we'll meet in studio till then take care bye bye